So you don't begin take trauma dot, trauma dot, trauma dot. What you don't say, Napanadot, Napanadot, Panadot, Panadot. So you don't begin use dragon, dragon, dragon. What you don't say, Nagolon, Golon, Golon, Golon. You papa no, I you say you get five boyfriends. You mama no, you mama no. You papa no, you papa no. So you the take kush. You mama no, you mama no. You papa no, you papa no. So you the goat condo. You mama no, you mama no. You papa no, you papa no. So you don't begin take gram gram. You mama no, you mama no. You papa no, you papa no. You no get six for you one champ beef. For no follow you football player. You want champ beef. You eat lights for you want drink home. No can do police get so you want drink home. You know the sleep for you want dream big. Well you know magic man. You want dream big. You know they buy. You know they sell. You just they pass up and down for the boy. So you don't begin take trauma dot, trauma dot, trauma dot. What you don't say? Na panadot, na panadot, panadot, panadot. So you don't begin use dragon, dragon. Dragon, now, oh, Sally, Facebook, Tanya, it just not made no sense. You know the story about the past. You my mother. Mm-hmm. You don't know if you sharp. You must know. You never know. You never know. You say you can sleep with him well. Pastor, no. The car is done. You know the best. But you know, him boyfriend, now you boy. All the guy knows. So you don't think you take drama, dog. Drama, dog. Drama, dog. What you don't say, Napanadol. Napanadol. Panadol. Panadol. So you don't think you use dragon. 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 What you don't say, Napanadol. Golon. 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 You papa no, I you say you get five boyfriends. You mama no, you mama no. You papa no, you papa no. So you the take kush. You mama no, you mama no. You papa no, you papa no. So you the goat condo. You mama no, you mama no. You papa no, you papa no. So you don't begin take kush. You mama no, you mama no. You get me na Facebook, Google na WhatsApp, hobby na Snapchat. You mama no, bechi na you be get me le for coco for na mi Instagram. You mama no, na to you mama you tap on they ask me for us friends. All right, my name is Jordan. The name of the church is Awakening Church. What we do around here is called We Heart Live, so you can check that out on Facebook and on uh, on Instagram. And uh, we meet right here at PCTA on Sundays. We're not meeting right now due to COVID, and so hopefully in a couple months we'll be back here in Providence meeting. The uh, the church's email address is awakeningchurch.org, and if you want to give us a call, 401-232-5200, and we'd love to get connected with you guys. And thank you so much. We are still out here serving. We have hundreds of volunteers. We're giving away free groceries here. And then we're having projects around the city. We do this monthly, uh, once a month or so. We just show up. And our goal is to just bless the community. And that's it. We just want to be a help, you know. And so uh, if you want to give us a call, if you want to show up, uh, we'd love to see you at church, you know. And we'd love to bless you anyway. Hi, entertainment. Why? Young Lee on the beat. One of a kind. <laughs> Red flag music. Kai Entertainment. Black Leo. Ah. King Tanya. 
All I be talking rank up for the mouth you go see. Now beat your phone up. This man on me face, they talk now me back you go see. Now beat your phone up. They act tough, but you soft we go see. Now beat your phone up. You run out of stress, make a bump we go see. Now beat your phone up. Papa, papa, party no day. Go Sister, no. brother, auntie no day. Till the day, we ain't gonna see. I'm pretty high for now. Mama, papa, party no day. What Sister, guy. brother, auntie no day. Till the day, we ain't gonna see. King, not to the last one. Uh, Ready for kill them season and not gonna be the last uh, one. I run the streets. Call me gentle. Mm, Walk him seas. Call you on a gentle. Uh, Red flag, we don't take pandies. Uh, Real hip hop, not get party pandies. Uh, them to play all around. Pass back to uh, me. Got more lines than a zebra. Take some uh, uh, Name me one cell. One of us sleep uh, Name who's better than me. I the wet. Call me mother. Now me the mark inside. Uh, Always on top. Elena, man. God, they still not free. MCs go back to school. Uh, now we salo Sabina. We uh, rule uh, I change like me na big notes Now na change wo na see big notes All I be talking rank up for the man we go see Na pity I found out You this man na me face they talk na me back we go see Na pity I found out You act tough but you soft we go see Na pity I found out You they run him out just like a bump we go see Na pity I found out Mama, papa, party no day Sister, brother, auntie no day Till the day God bless you. We are Jesus King International Ministries, our pastors Salvador and Wendy Vasquez. We are located at 103 Newport Avenue in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. We are open Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, and also via Facebook Live, Jesus King International Ministries. Our phone number is 401-335-5398. God bless you all. And my name is Mariah Vasquez. God bless you. Thank you. One. Young Lee on the beat. What a kind. <laughs> Red flag music. High entertainment. Black Leo. Ah. King Tenders. All I be talking rank up for the mouth you go see. I be tight for now. You smile on me face. They talk now. Hello and welcome to another edition of Africa Teaching, a production of the Pepperbird Magazine and Chesson Worldwide 360. I'm Karen McLaurin Chesson, your host. And today I've been chatting with a young man in his mid-30s who traveled about 12 hours to come see his dad in Boston. Lloyd Brian Jr., a teacher out of Maryland. How do you do? Lloyd, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, and, you know, I, it really touches my heart that you are, A, are concerned about your dad, B, you surprised him, which must have been uh, like Christmas for him. It was great, actually. And uh, see, you probably did a lot of work to make sure that before you left, he was snug as a bug. As best as I could. I, I took the approach very uh, carefully. First off, I went and made sure I had my COVID test mm -hmm. and received my results uh, this prior Monday. Uh, I was on the road on Thursday uh, coming here. So... It was just important to me to know that I'm cleared, my results are negative, and that I could be in my father's space without uh, causing any type of irreparable damage. Yes. So. And I know you, you, you did say you only stopped once. I did. Uh, from uh, Maryland. Stopped in Jersey. <laughs> stopped in Jersey. Stopped in Jersey. Stopped in Jersey, got some gas, going. and kept going. <clears throat> Absolutely. Wow. Well, I'm happy to see that a black man is concerned about his elderly father. That's number one. And number two, that you left bounty with him <laughs> before you left. So that's precious. Thank you. Thank you for being a diligent young black man. Thank you. It, it, it was just important that 
you know, I, I take care of my, my parent. It's, it's difficult when the roles shift, mm -hmm. you know, you spend your whole life with your parents raising you. Yes. And then it goes the other way. So we're in that transitional phase at the moment, but he's, you know, he's doing well. He's yes. doing well. Yes. And you so can rest. You can be better. at peace. I definitely feel better. Yes, yes. I definitely feel better knowing that he's okay. Sure. Uh, I just have to up my presence a little bit more here. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's a good thing right now that my particular industry, which is education, mm -hmm. is in the unfortunate predicament that it's in, mm -hmm. uh, in which case I can do my job from, I can do it remotely. Yes. I.e. all of my work is, is set online uh, in terms of my you know, my, my coursework or, or my students. Mm -hmm. So that's where our engagement is. Yes. Uh, so it allows me to, to be able to move from point A to point B and, and still not impede on my teaching. Yes, yes. So um, how long will you remain remote? Do you know? Uh, currently, um, my county is... Uh, going remote from September to about February of 2021. Okay. All right. Well, that's a good thing. It is. Excellent. It's a safe thing. Yes, it is <laughs> a safe, safe thing. thing. <laughs> and um, so as of February 21, you'll go back? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. It, it depends on uh, the, the spike in cases how well uh, my county handles the adjustments, um, just basically how well the citizens respond to the rules that have been implemented by the state. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you stay home and you're able to stay home and, and keep your family safe and yourself safe and others safe, then you can get back to business as normal much sooner. Mm -hmm. If you don't, then this will continue. Yeah, wow, I see, okay. And which county is that? I am in Montgomery County. Montgomery County. How do you feel the online teaching is effective? Um, I think the online component uh, in terms of education for younger students, because that's that's those are the grades that I cover. I cover K-12. Okay. Um, I think it's a lot more complicated uh, because there are certain assignments, certain, um, there's just certain moments in which you're working on, you know, your classwork where you would want or require that face-to-face -face interaction. Mm -hmm. There's something about body language between people where if you pay enough attention, you can read certain elements. So if I have a student who's sitting before me and we're working on an English assignment and I say to that student, I need you to write this paragraph edit it, and then rewrite it a second time because you're going to bring it to me and I want to see it. I will then focus my attention on that student to see how, which way, and how they attempt to identify these, you know, the instructions of which I've placed for them. Mm -hmm. So it's different when you're doing it online because now the child can go and open another tab and kind of take the work from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Well, the upside for that as an educator is that I have the same internet you do. Mm -hmm. So I know where you'll get your work. It, and, and the students, they miss that, you know, that, that engagement to, between not just their peers, but their instructors. Yes. But it's important to let them know this is not a forever thing. Mm -hmm. But you do have to get used to it for now. Yes. Just off the, the realm of safety. Yes. So, you know, if... If my students not being in the classroom means that they can't, you know, uh, have recess together, I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, as as far as um, their safety, that is my primary concern. Yes. So I do not subscribe to the idea of reopening schools right away, uh, especially when there aren't a lot of measures that have been put in place to explain what... Uh, a school reopening would look like mm -hmm. in terms of safety between the, the student body, the staff population, you just don't know. Yeah. So I, 
I, I would much rather deal in the online side of things. Yeah. Even given its own complexities. Yes, yes. Now, uh, Lloyd has also been touched by COVID-19. Uh, your wife. Yes. Who's a nurse. Uh, had uh, contracted COVID-19. Yes. Could you walk us through that experience? I can. Okay, so um, I believe it was uh, mid-May. Uh, no. In her hospital, at her unit, she works in a specialty unit, and the COVID cases were coming in. They were increasing more and more, so you'd see 10, 20, 50 cases a day. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just escalating. Uh they moved her from her core unit to the visiting unit. Uh, and, and I remember talking to her and saying, you know, who's over it? Who's over there? Mm -hmm. And she said, those are where the COVID patients are. I said, you can't be over there. You're immunocompromised because she has her own, uh, you know, issues that she deals with. So we sorted through that. And, and I was doing my best to see how we could get her out mm -hmm. of those particular sectors. Mm -hmm. um, after about a week, uh, we were able to achieve that. But three days later, I'm watching her walk around the home and, you know, temperature's going up and she's exhibiting some of the symptoms and I'm thinking, I knew this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, you know, I, I hope I don't have it. I, I, I can't really afford to have it right now. And, and I said, girl, they got you working in the units where this thing is. All we can do at this point is to practice whatever the next measures are mm -hmm. safely. So uh, a test was um, administered. She received her results in about three days, came back that she was uh, positive for coronavirus. Um, she took it very hard. I'm sure she did. I, on the other hand, just kind of went into survival mode. It's like, <laughs> what do we have to do? You have to be over here in this sector. We have to be over here. And then this is just what we'll do. If I have to wash down, clean everything, cook everything, then that's just the case of it. But you're not going back to work during this time period. Uh, so we were able to to keep her home. Uh, she did um, have a rough bout with it. Uh, the shortness of breath, uh, the the headaches. Um, the Her equilibrium was off also. Uh, so that was another uh, major task that people didn't, uh, really take into account. Um, but we were able to safely quarantine distance-wise. Uh, so I did not uh, contract the virus. After the, the spell, my wife was retested. She, results came back negative, which I was truly grateful for. Yes. I was also tested. My results came back negative. Yes. And, and so now she has um, returned to work I think um, for the past two weeks, okay. she's doing excellent now. So wow! But you know, of course, those rules remain in place: masks at all times, gloves, uh, constant hand washing. Mm -hmm. uh, you really have to do your best to protect not just yourself, but the next person who may not be doing as much. Right. Uh, because this thing is so easily spread and transferred yeah. um but we're we're in a much better place now oh i'm so happy to hear that <laughs> i'm happy to say it <laughs> oh i know i know and it's nothing more than the loved one mm -hmm. you know that hits right home absolutely fast absolutely and, and and you know it gets complicated um when you're dealing with uh an animal like coronavirus or something now if if this interview were to have taken place two months ago, I would be outside of the door, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and so it tells you how far that we've come. And for the record, I do have my mask it's in my pocket, you know. <laughs> so I have mine in my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it just helps to to really be forthright yes. with this and yes. to be proactive and not reactive. Yes. So that is that is key. Well, thank you for sharing your. Uh, several personal experiences with <laughs> us. We hope that you enjoyed our short interview with Lloyd Bryan Jr. Uh, we Peace. thank you for taking this time with us. 
and we are so happy to be visited by you. So with that, folks, make it a great day, and please stay safe. Stay as connected as you can. Wash your hands. What? Young Lee on the beat. What up, Kai? <laughs> Red flag music. Kai Entertainment. Black Lee. Ah. King Tainless.